Good morning, my microwave is not working. No display, no response, no sign of any functionality. Outlet is still hot so I know it can get power. I was looking at thermal fuses but not sure I've located the correct ones to check. I found two 0809 KSD 40 LC 70 and 0807 KSD 120 LC 0 that both meter in the open position. Have you tried power cycling the appliance, unplugging it and leaving it off for a few hours? The microwave is Maytag MMV 42 5 Ba. Yes, the microwave was left unplugged for a day then plugged back in but no responsiveness. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? If something I can do yes. I work on computers often though don't do much with circuit boards themselves. I've already checked both barrel fuses, they are both okay. Anything else we should know to help you best? The microwave was very warm from items cooking on the stove below it when it stopped working. It has not worked since. Hello and welcome to Just Answer. My name is I will be helping your KitchenAid microwave. Please give me a moment to review your model. By the way, who am I speaking with? Hi Steve, my name is Ken. Hi Ken. Have you tried plugging something into the outlet that draws a significant amount of current, such as a hair dryer? I have not, I've only used an outlet tester and verified the circuit to the plug was working properly. I've also checked the circuit breaker itself and no issues there either. Okay, one moment. I am locating the various fuses in this model. Okay. I tested continuity on the two barrel fuses connected to the noise filter module and both were fine. I then tested continuity on the other two, 0809 KSD 40 LC 70 and 0807 KSD 120 LC 0 and both showed no continuity. My first few searches indicated these could be bad but the last couple searches stated these may be in a normally open state by default and have no continuity until heat is applied. Ken, I see three three thermal fuses and a few regular fuses in this model. There should be a schematic hidden in the control panel area that will let you know which ones are NO or NC. As well, you can test for 110 volts AC across any fuses when the MW is plugged in. That is an indication that the fuse should be normally closed. I only saw the two barrel fuses and the other two. I hadn't seen the third. Any idea where that would be? Yes, that one is on top of the cavity and is unfortunately accessible by taking the microwave down and taking the cover off of the unit. That is the one that is often associated with a complete power loss. Sometimes the wires on it get loose, get hot, and actually cause it to burn out. Is there anything else I can answer for you today, Ken? No, I think that will be all. Sounds like I'll need to get some help to unmount the unit to get to that other fuse. Thanks. You're welcome. Please let me know how it goes, Ken. Would you mind rating my service to you today? Just answer will only compensate me for my time if you rate me. A rating of 4 stars or more at the top right of your screen will allow free follow-up questions for this appliance through this link. TIPS are appreciated. Thank you. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.